When solving a quadratic like this, the first thing you want to do is see if you can factor. I'm looking for factors of 10 which add up to 7. So 10 can either be written as 10 times 1 or 5 times 2, which conveniently does add up to 7. This allows me to rewrite the left side of my equation as x plus 5 coming from the factor 5 times x plus 2 coming from the factor 2. The reason I can do that is if I were to FOIL and multiply x plus 5 times x plus 2, I would get back to my original equation. So these two first statements are equivalent. Now I can apply my zero products property, which tells me that because the whole thing is zero, either x plus 5 or x plus 2 must equal zero. So x plus 5 equals zero means that x is negative 5, and x plus 2 equals zero would mean that x is equal to negative 2. Those are my two possible solutions. And were I to plug them back in to my original equation up at the top, either one of those would make for a true statement. For example, negative 5 squared is a positive 25 plus 7 times negative 5 would be negative 35, which gives me negative 10, and negative 10 plus 10 is equal to 0. You'll see the same thing would work with negative 2 as well. So we're going to factor, find factors of the constant term, which add up to the coefficient of the middle term. Um, we write it out in factored form and apply the zero products property. Thank you.